Hey YouTube, it's Charisma. It is a lazy Friday. It's raining outside. So I decided to be creative and teach you guys how to make a nice clutch. And I'm going to be doing more um, advanced sewing tutorials for you guys using zippers and things like that i'm so so excited so i have this fabric here which i use for my bonnets my satin bonnets satin line bonnets this is on my website if you'd like a bonnet like this but i have my zipper laid out already and um all you need is your fabric and your zipper and then fabric for the inside lining so let's get started so you're going to place your zipper at the top like I did and I want my bag to be a little bit bigger. Um, I was following Nisha's tutorial and um, that's how I'm doing this one. I'll put a link in my description if you want to look at hers as well. She is my mentor. She taught me a lot about sewing. May she rest in peace. So I'm going to, you can make it straight like that. You're going to follow the zipper. So you get an idea of the size of your bag. Um, and if you want a bigger bag, you get a bigger zipper. If you want a smaller bag, you get a smaller zipper. I'm going to cut out like this because I want a bigger bag. So, okay, so as you can see, I cut the bag, the fabric out like almost in a triangle shape. And so you're going to do the same thing with your lining. You're going to, I already have my lining underneath, but you're going to take your lining, whatever fabric you want to use for your lining, and you're going to use this as a pattern to cut it out. And I'll show you right now. Okay, so you have this fabric and then you have whatever you're using as your lining. So then you're going to go ahead and you can go ahead and cut the bottoms of both of them open. You're going to need them to be open. When you're done with all of that. You're going to take your fabric and put it right sides together. You're going to take it to the sewing machine. I already did mine and you're going to stitch across. But remember, with your zipper, if you could see, the zipper starts here and ends here. And there's a little leftover fabric there. So when you go to the sewing machine to sew, you're going to stitch on the regular stitch 3.5 up to about an inch and then back stitch and then for the rest you're going to do it on a 5.0 that's a wide stitch all the way down to about an inch um, left out again because you see the zipper here this is open so when you get to that inch again you're going to do it on 3.5 and then back stitch and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so now that your fabric is um, stitched together, you're going to take this and you can go to an iron and iron it flat. I'm not going to do that right now, but you can do that so it could be easier for you. You're going to take your zipper and you're going to put the zipper um, face down. So um, see the zipper right here? You're going to turn it this way after you ironed it and you're going to place it facing down and you're going to just pin along the sides there okay so you see I have my zipper pinned down and you're going to go to your sewing machine and get your zipper foot it looks something like this you're going to put it in and then you can proceed to sew on your zipper if you need help with um, sewing with this um, refer to my other tutorial on installing a zipper and I'll leave the link in the description so I now have my zipper attached so what you're gonna do is turn it to the right side and remember we did that big wide stitch on 5.0 so you're gonna feel with your fingers where your zipper head is which is right here on mine and you're going to find those stitches and take them out because you made them so big you can get a seam ripper and undo those big 5.0 stitches that we originally made. I'm going to do that now and come back. I got it open there and here is my zipper. Yay! 
Okay, so now we have to add our lining, which I have here. I decided to choose black lining. You could have opted to sew it along with this, but this is an, another way to do it where you get a cleaner finish. So let me show you right now. I took my two pieces of lining and I put over, I put, this is the wrong side and the lining you're putting the right side out. So you're going to put it close to your zipper and what you're going to do is fold this over so that it could be you don't see the seams of your lining you could um pin it down and you just take it to your sewing machine you can leave the um zipper foot on so that it the your needle doesn't go over the zipper and you're gonna just stitch down on both sides remember you're gonna fold the fabric over some get it close to the zipper and then stitch all the way down. So now for your final step, you're going to take this. This is your lining. You're going to, and you see the zipper right there. Just put it together. That's right sides together. I'm so excited. This looks so pretty. I can't wait to make different ones in different colors. Just make sure it's even. Guys, I'm holding the camera at the same time so it's not gonna look perfect the way I'm doing it but I'm pretty sure yours will I'm gonna go perfect mine off camera but just make sure everything is nice and even you're going to take this to your sewing machine and you don't need the zipper foot you could put the regular foot back on and you're just gonna stitch you're gonna start you see where your zipper is here like where it starts you're just gonna start there and sew. Keep your um, needle in. Just turn your fabric. So following my finger, so all the way back up to here. You see where your zipper is. You'll be able to see. And that's it, guys. It's done. You can also go on to um, zigzag the edges if they're too raw. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. You can like flip it inside out. Your bag is done. I'm so excited. All right, let me flip it inside out first. And here it is, you guys. Yay! So you can make it any shape that you want. Here's the inside. Awesome, it's cool. I think I could have used a smaller zipper, but this was my first time doing something like this. So I really, really like it. Yay! And if you try it, please let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and check out my Etsy store, etsy.com slash shop slash charisma for you. If you'd like me to make you one of these, just let me know. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.